Hello guys, how is it going? I hope everyone is having a fantastic day. Welcome to a brand new career mode here on FIFA 19. As you can tell by the top left of your screen and of course the thumbnail and the title of this video, we are in Portugal with Braga and this is the first time ever for me because I've never done a career mode in Portugal. Never on FIFA 12, FIFA 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 and it's happening for the first time ever on FIFA 19 and this will be my last career mode on FIFA 19 before FIFA 20 comes out and I'm really hoping I can get two seasons done with Braga but because I can't record every single day I'm not 100% sure I'm going to get it done but I'm going to really try to get two seasons done. We have accepted a pre-season tournament in England worth £7 million so of course we want to win it and bring every single penny into the club our group is Burnley Brighton and Levante from Spain and like my last couple of career modes we're going to get pre-season out of the way and then we're going to go through everything like the squad report the objectives how much money we've got and everything like that at the end of the episode so our first official game as Braga manager is against Premier League side Brighton so let's see if we can kick off pre-season with three points So like I said, to end episode one, we are going to be doing a squad report, looking at how much money we've got for the season ahead and of course the objectives for this season. And by the way, guys, if I pronounce any of these names wrong, please let me know in the comment section down below. So let's start with the squad report. Here we go. Three goalkeepers, which is definitely not needed. Marathoner will probably be sold 
in the near future. He's 31 years old. Mateos will be our cup goalkeeper. And Saar will be our number one goalkeeper this season. Moving into the defence. Goyano, obviously the club captain, 30 years old. Which means his attributes will start decreasing from any moment from this point onwards. Because you guys know what happens in career mode when players hit that 30 mark. Yeah, their attributes start decreasing. But overall, a very solid player. And he will be our number one right back this season. Silver out on loan, 22 years old, 66 overall. And I'm not really interested in using him when he comes back, to be honest. Figueras, 27 years old, right back. And he can play at right mid as well. Pretty good on the ball. Good tackling physically. Very, very good too. 74 overall. He will be our cup right back. Moving into centre-back positions, Bruno Viana. While I say their name, their age, and their overall, I will just scan, let you guys scan through their attributes, their physical attributes, and of course their technical, their technical attributes. I couldn't even say technical properly. But yeah, let you guys look at their attributes so it gives you guys an idea of what sort of players we've got in this Braga squad. So Bruno Viana, 23 years old, at 78 overall, and in my opinion. He's a pretty solid centre-back. He's got good stamina, okay jumping, good strength, very good tackling as well. Santos, 26-76 overall. Very good tackling, good jumping, good strength, good stamina as well. Aggression is pretty decent. We've got Lukic out on loan. He's six foot four, but his jumping attribute is 48. So I don't know how it would affect him in the air because you can't have a centre-back in your team who's losing loads of aerial battles because there is just no point having him in the team so I'm not sure how a bad jumping attribute would affect a very tall guy on this game so yeah that's the only thing putting me off him so I'm not sure about Lukic I think we probably will sell him when he comes back Rosic out alone as well 25 years old 72 over much better jumping stats Six foot three as well, 85 strength, much better tackling than Lukic as well. So I think we'll probably sell Lukic and keep Rosic. Ferreira, another player whose jumping attribute is terrible. He's six foot three and a jumping attribute of 44. Good strength, good aggression, good tackling, but yeah, his jumping attribute is not great and he's worth five million pounds. So do we sell him and bring in another centre back? This is where you guys come in. Let me know in the comment section down below. Lucas, 21 years old, 66 overall. He's only going to get better. He's only 21 years old. And to be honest, he's he's pretty decent already. And we can train him as well. Raul, the last centre-back in the squad. 28 years old, 79 overall. Good jumping, good strength, good aggression, and very good tackling as well. Of course, he's going to be probably number one centre-back with Santos or Bruno Viana. At left back, Ayuton. Like I said, hopefully I'm pronouncing these names correctly. Our number one left back definitely this season. 23 years old. Absolutely rapid. And technically pretty good. Good tackling. Good on the ball. Seguera. The only thing that puts me off this guy is his quickness. Acceleration 67 and sprint speed 72. I don't really like having wide players that are slow. Especially fullbacks because... They come up against quick wingers. Nowadays, most wingers are quick. Very, very quick. So they will just get shredded. But we'll see how he does. He'll be our cup left back. So we'll see how he does. Moving into central midfield. We've got a couple of central midfielders here. We've got Loom out on loan at Porto. He's 21 years old. We currently play 4-2-2-2. I wasn't crazy about that formation, but it worked. We won the preseason tournament, so it worked. So we'll see how it does in the first few games of the competitive season and if it's not great we definitely will change it but at the moment we've got two central midfielders and I put instructions on the two central mids one of them to stay back while attacking and the other to get forward and players like Loom I think there's about three or four players that could play the role of staying back while the team attacks and Loom and Paulinha are two players that can definitely play the role of staying back while the team attacks our wide players, we've got some very solid wide players in this team. And we definitely don't need to make any signings in that area. Murillo, 
Brazilian, 23 years old, absolutely rapid and good on the ball as well. Jardas, 20 years old, Portuguese, 73 overall, physically pretty good and technically very good as well. As Gaio, he can play it right back. He's got good tackling. So if we need a right back, he can definitely play there. But his number one position for me will be, of course, on the wing, right mid. Physically, really, really good and technically good. Like I said, good tackling. Look, slide tackle 75, stand tackle 76, which is really, really good. Francergio, 27 years old. He's another player that can play that role of staying back while the team gets forward. Ricardo Rila, Ryla. I did try and search this guy's name, but I couldn't find any pronunciations anywhere. Not great, but not the worst. And I've had this on FIFA before, where I've played players that haven't got the best of attributes, but they still perform. So he's one of those players that could play and shock us. And I want to give, because we are Braga, we don't have all the money in the world, we can't make unbelievable signings, I want to give every single player a go. I want to give them a go and let them prove themselves in this team. We've got Tavares, 19, 63 over. We can obviously train him as well. And for a 19-year-old, he's pretty decent, to be honest. Newvice, 25 years old, 75 overall. And he can play in various positions, as you can see. Central mid, cam, right mid, left mid. Technically, really, really good as well. Eduardo, 25, 72 overall, just like Ricardo. Not the worst, but not the best. And another player that could shock when he plays. Because he hasn't got the best attributes, you're not expecting much, but he could perform really, really well. Bakic out on loan. Some of those technical stats are pretty decent. Physically, not great, but technically some decent stats in there, so I'm not really sure what to do with him. We've got Jordo. Jordo. Bruno Jordo, 19, overall 60. Not great for a 19-year-old, but we'll see how he does. Young player out on loan at Lazio, so we'll see how his attributes grow. Claudemir, 30 years old. Another player that could play that role of staying back in central midfield while the team attacks. Trincao, hopefully I'm pronouncing his name correctly. 18 years old and 70 overall. For an 18 year old, he's pretty decent already and of course we can train him. Martins, other left backs, left backs, other left mids or wide players, 24 years old. Like I said, we've got some really solid wide players in this team. Horta, another solid wide player, 23 years old, 79 overall. Singh out on loan, 20 years old, absolutely rapid and pretty decent on the ball as well. Moving into the strikers, I think we need to make one signing for or bring one striker into the team, sorry. We've got Paulinho, 25 years old, 77 overall. Of course, he's going to be a threat on set pieces and crossing situations. Pretty solid player, to be honest. He got four assists and one goal in five games in the preseason tournament. Salsa, 28 years old, 79 overall. Again, another player that's going to be a threat on set pieces and crossing situations. Eduardo, I really enjoyed using this guy got him on the ball and tried to run at my opposing players really really did enjoy using him and he got two goals in five games and this is a guy i struggled to say his name you guys give me one second to get this up on my phone stoji stoji okay i totally messed up stoji kovic stoji kovic stoji kovic stoji kovic Stojakovic. Hopefully I'm saying that correctly. Oh my god, that was terrible. But yeah, he won't probably be playing for us, to be honest. He's 25 years old, 70 overall. I try my best with these names, but some of them really do get me. Last but not least, Pedro Nato. 64 overall, only 18. He's out on loan at Lazio. So another young player out on loan. He's pretty decent for an 18-year-old as well. We'll see how he's attributes grow so yeah that's the squad report hopefully i didn't go through it too quickly and let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below i think we definitely need to sign a striker our money for this season is 15 million pound in the transfer budget and a wage of 47k but of course we can move that about as well if we need to so i think maybe we should get a center back and a striker 
I'm not quite sure, but definitely a striker because we've only got three strikers in the team at the moment. And of course, we play two. So it'd be nice to have an extra striker in the squad. Right, last, lastly, we are going to look at the objectives for the up and coming season youth development. Make a 2.6 million pound profit from youth player sales within two seasons. Brand exposure, sign one crucial first team player assigned to a forward position, which we might do to be honest. Financial is low priority. Keep player salary growth under 25%. Domestic success, Liga Noose. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, to be honest, but let me know in the comments if I actually am or not. Achieve a higher finish. What does that mean? Does that mean top six, top eight? Like, I don't understand what that means. So we'll just have to see at the end of the season if where we finish is high enough for the board's expectations. The Tassa Portuguesa, we have to reach the quarter final. And in the Europa League, we have to reach the semi-final, although it is low priority. So overall, we have to have a pretty strong first season with Braga. But that's going to officially wrap up episode one here with Braga. In the next episode, we will have the official first game of the league season. And of course, hopefully, one or two signings. Not 100% sure on that, but maybe a couple of signings and definitely the first league game of this season i hope you guys are enjoyed i hope you guys are enjoying this i hope you guys are looking forward to it as much as me i'm tired guys it's been a long day i'm recording this at like nearly 10 o'clock at night so yeah i'm really really tired i can't get my words out properly but i hope you guys are looking forward to this as much as me like i said in the intro i think it was this is the first time ever for me i've never done a career mode in portugal so I am really, really pumped to get going with Braga. But like I said, leave your suggestions and thoughts in the comment section down below of transfers in and out. So that is going to officially wrap up episode one here with Braga. And I hope to see you in episode two. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have an amazing day. Peace.